practicing like a ton for these individual leagues. I do remember him saying in a recent interview, or maybe a couple weeks ago, that he was his goal for this year was simply to get better. I remember like so saying something like that. It, it might have been actually in the Star League interview. Yeah, it's, it is. It is possible. We I mean, are seeing improvement. He is looking better, and we're gonna go into game number two here, guys, between Rogue and Myungsik on Overgrowth. Down here in the bottom left, in the red, it is Rogue. And up here, in the top right, it is Myungshik. Up a game. Very surprising to me. Not the fact that he's up a game, but just in the way he did it. Macro game is quite strong. Going back to those Myungshik Phoenixes, him and Stats were a couple of the Protosses that kind of uh, stuck with that for the longest time, I think, and made that kind of their style. And showing it again today, bringing it back. Like you were saying before, it's not the most common strategy these days, but Myungshik can make it work, it seems. It's still solid. It's still a solid strategy. Can still work. I remember when Zest was still using it a while ago. Like, oh, I guess it was a while ago now, maybe six months ago. But he mm. was one of the last to really not transition for a, for a time. And he still made it work so well. Same with Hero for a time. Yeah, he still loved it. We are seeing the same build order from Young Shik and the same building placement. Yeah. And this time Rogue actually brave enough to put down a hatch first without a scout. Looks like it's going to be double hatch before pool, actually. Wow. Unless he's going to scout with this uh, this drone. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe he'll just take the gold. You know, anything can happen here on over Overgrowth. I do doubt it, though. It does come down to greet this probe. Yeah. Shouldn't because be he hasn't worried. scouted. Um, he's just going to bring a second one down. But after seeing no pylon going down, he's like, okay, you're you're not doing it. Yep. And it looks like Rogue will be going into that spawning pool once again. That he will. Even making a couple of drones before that spawning pool, so quite confident here that Myungsik isn't going for any kind of cannons. And a much earlier third base for Rogue this time. So okay, getting a little bit more greedy, a little bit more comfortable against how Myungsik is playing. Let's see what Rogue has planned this time. This map, not a mad map at all for uh Swarmhose play. But is that is that really rogue style to go into Swarm Rose? He seemed to really struggle with the uh, the timing when it came to Vipers in the last map. He got them out just a little too late, and Myungshik was already way too prepared for it with four Templar waiting for them. So if he wants to get that to happen, he's got to get them just a little bit earlier. Generally, if, if you really wanted to make it work and you want it in a decent timing, you'd put down the Infestation Pit at the same time as that Hydra Den. Make it really quick. Yeah. Well, the first two lings are out on the map. The Nexus does finish as well. Overlord coming through the base a bit early. Cybernex core only finishing up now. Maybe a Corona boost on the Stalker to get that guy out of there. And uh, no wall down there at the natural just yet. Only at the top of the ramp. Yeah. Yeah, so this overlord is going to go down pretty quickly because of this. A couple of lings could maybe find a, a probe kill. Nice mineral walk to get away from there. Pylon does come down. And uh, only one gas taken so far by Rogue, and it's at the natural. Yeah, about like a minute quicker than he'd probably wanted to get in normal timing. So he wants Zergling's speed on the map just a bit quicker this time. Gonna get that map control, make sure Myung should can't go for a third base. Zergling is scouting everywhere. Funnily enough, two-player map in Overgrowth still. A lot of places to proxy, and sometimes Protosses can get a bit freaky with the proxies on this map. So nice scouting with the four lings. But nothing just yet. Normal play. We do see two gateways at the front. So Myungsi can definitely put on some pressure with this. Decent three-gate pressure there at that third base. 
Yeah, adding three gates and not much else, you know. Now he's adding a forge. Not much else. I guess he's just kind of applying pressure. With that probe and two stalkers, he, he can really start to scare Rogue because, you know, like, Rogue has dealt with this kind of play before from Young Chick. He adds a lot of gateways and goes for some sort of rush. Uh, but he should be fine. But he's really, you know what, this is doing a lot of damage to, to Rogue indirectly, you know. It's stopping a lot of Larvae from making any uh, workers. And oh! Getting a surround on at least one of them. And they will, and even the cancel on the nice. pylon. Like you were saying before, this is all he wanted to see. He wanted to see a large number of links. Uh, almost lost the second stalker there. But yeah, it did a lot. It, it forced out so many Zerglings that Rogue did not want to make. That third base is still pretty empty. It's going to be half saturated in a second. It's yeah. a nice fake out from Youngshu. I think Rogue's freaking out a bit as well, putting him down double spore crawler. He doesn't really know what's going on. He's like, oh, you just pressured with like two units and that's it? Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, that's all I did. I'm taking the third base. See, he's in his brain at this point. He's in his, he's getting, uh, yeah, getting played, man. He doesn't know yet that the third base is going up either, which is a really big deal. He's going to find it eventually with this speedling, unless he chooses not to scout it. Gonna scout it now. He's gonna be like, "Oh, okay. It was just delayed for some reason. This is weird." Sees how many sentries are there. He's like, "That's where your gas went." See, kind of got a little bit outplayed there. He's gonna throw down a hydralis den once again. Yeah, and that actually gets scouted immediately, even before it's halfway done. So Myungsik knows what's coming. Gonna want to get those colossi out. In due time. So he is going for the Templar archives first. Yeah, looks like he'll uh, he'll time out nicely with uh, getting to plus two, so we could see blinks uh, plus two blink stalkers coming to the map. It's a nice nearly third base. See how many more gateways are added. Going up to five gates being added at this point. We have a stargate on the map. After he saw the hydroden coming down, I wonder what he could be going for here. I mean, Twilight Council does finish. No tech just yet. I think it might be for Phoenix again, but maybe like hidden Phoenix. Judging by where the rally point is, it's like almost next to the Stargate, so maybe he wants to build up a bunch of Phoenix before he brings them onto the map in case there's going to be a Muta Switch, perhaps? It's kind of a weird way to look at it, but it's I guess it's not a bad idea to have the tech just in case Mutas will be on the map. We'll see if he makes anything with it directly or instantly after it finishes. Not just yet. For now, just a blink and plus two on the way and an oracle. An oracle. Will come out. Just very, very delayed oracle, as I guess. Uh, uh, not a bad idea. The main base of Rogue has no spore crawler, so if he can get in there, it can do a lot of damage. And this is a lot of uh, Hydra Ling coming towards what Meowshik has, but look how many. How many sentries Myungshik has? Yeah. This is the kind of map, actually, as the Protoss, where you can just force field the ramp over and over and over again if you've got enough. He has but 13. He has more than enough. Yeah. It looks like Rogue wants to come from two sides. Is Myungshik paying attention? Yes, he is. The Lings all get through, but the Hydra's not doing much. Looks like he doesn't get any of the sentries. <laughs> and cannons are coming down even as well. Yeah. Myungshik playing so defensively. He's got two Oracles now. Looks like they will be making their way towards the main base. This could be a lot of damage, Valdez. The kid, the Hydras are repositioning right now. Nungshik has not identified this. He does not have a Robo for those observers to actually keep an eye on this army. But he does see it there, and he does put down the Photon Cannon, Nexus Cannon. Now the Oracles are going to come into the main base. The Spore is not ready. Ooh. Only two kills. The Hydras were in position, it yeah, seems. They had just hatched in the nick of time. They were thin. And what is Rogue's kind of follow-up going to be? He's adding just to so many more Zerglings. Now going into Hive. No uh, Enduring Locusts or anything. I think we might actually see just another sort of uh, a Viper tech. It's going to be interesting. I mean, it, I guess it'll be good for the Blinding Cloud, but... Already blink on the Stalkers, and plus two. No upgrades for Rogue right now. This is not a, a good fight for Rogue, I don't think. Oh, unless he gets a nice concave like that. 
There's just like too many force fields. There and also is he's, up, he's up two upgrades right now. He's getting the plus one armor. Yeah, this, this is going to be a very hard fight if, if Rogue ever tries to take it. I mean, Myungsu can just sit back and do this all day. He's got so many force fields. Yeah, with 13 sentries, you can do anything you want on the map. You have essentially the, uh, the map-making program open at this point, <laughs> and you're fixing it to however you want. Yeah, in real time. It's real time. It's like, oh. It's quite a good ability, wouldn't you say, Munglid? Yeah, I say, oh, I'll, I'll just add a wall here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's that? You can't do anything until you have Ultralisks? Yeah. Well, I, I do like the transition into Swarmos here. Kind of identifying yeah, he the needs them. composition of Young Sheik he needs decently them early. He's going to have 11 out in due time. And it's going to be a lot of Locusts right in Young Sheik's fa face as he tries to go for this attack. You can still force field uh, a lot of the Locusts out and go for like a Hatchery Snipe. Something that's very strong, and especially on this map, if you get around to that third base, sort of force field off behind the hatchery, you can just kill the hatch so easily. But it looks like do have a nice uh, foothold near the goal base for Rogue now. Really nice read there, actually, with the scout, with the Zerglings. Knowing that Myungsuk would just kind of try to go for some harass at the fourth base while pushing in over here, but where are the units? Okay, the Lucas are being rallied over here, but... He actually doesn't care, man. Yeah, he's just going past it. He's blinking forward. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Uh-oh. There goes, there goes the natural, and there goes the main into recall. Oh, my God. And look at all these zealots over here at the fourth base. He's not actually attacking with all of them, and Rogue is deciding to just go for a huge counterattack in the meantime. Yeah, he's going to do what he can. Nothing to block the natural. Oh, Myungshik, so all these Zerglings are running out in. But I don't know. He can just snipe that Hive and recall if he wants. I think that would be the plan, and there, there it go. is. A lot Ooh. of sentries do get left behind, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it does. But then again, no fourth base, no no natural, and no main. And Rogue is like, uh, I guess I will just back off. I guess I'm on one base. <laughs> against your four base. like, And he just lost nearly all these Zerglings because... Of how the uh, the recall went. That was a huge play by Mengshik. That just won him the won him the game, I think. Essentially did, unless we see some really nice like uh, totaling Swarmos play or something from uh, from Rogue. But at the same time, we have Mengshik already going. He's gonna going. lose his last base. Yeah. These zealots are actually gonna oh, be able to snipe it. Oh my god. Not enough DPS here. I think it's getting really close here. He will be able to get it, and wow. Rogue is gonna be revealed soon. No, okay, he's making some hatcheries in the main. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is disgusting. We are seeing two Robo Colossus being made at the same time, so he's going to have a hard counter for for pretty much Locusts in general. While Rogue is making five hatcheries, this is putting yeah. so much delay into the mining of Rogue. And no dancing the Zealots, <laughs> he's not even attacking. Oh my god! That's how confident Youngsuk is to win this game right now. I'm pretty confident in him as well. He's got double Colossi plus Storm. Plus all these heavy, heavily upgraded stalkers and sentries. No hive to make uh, vipers either. This is uh, pretty much the most horrible situation you could possibly be in for Rogue. And now that his foremost are completely out of position as well. Nice and vision on the army. He knows exactly where it is, what kind of composition it is. Could not be in a more comfortable position is Myungshik. He's just playing so well. We do have a large number of Zealots once again being warped in over at that pylon. Never got cleaned up. Going straight for that third base. And that's going to be going down. There's no defense here. There's one queen. And those Zealots have plus three attack. There we go. Hatchery goes down once again. The Roaches are too late. And now the Zealots are killing drones. These Locusts aren't really doing much. No, they can't do much. Not against three Colossus. When you get at least three, uh, it becomes so much easier to wipe them out. And now he has five. <laughs> Rogue had a couple of his hatcheries up, but he wasn't even mining at the same time. He was focusing on controlling his army, and that's not what he needs right now. His multitasking needs to be on point if he has any chance at all of winning this game. Oh, he's going to be careful. He's getting a little too close with his Swarmers especially. And now oh he's no. fighting with his Hydra Roach, and they're just going to get completely decimated in this situation. Way too much Protoss here. Way too much. Look at the supplies. Roach just, like, used all of his larvae. There, there it is, GG. 
Young Sheik takes down Rogue in a very, very clean 2 0. Very clean, very crisp by Young Sheik. Uh, really unexpected as well. Completely dismantling Rogue. Yeah, man. What did we say at the beginning of this day? Young Sheik is probably not going to get out of this group. I'm having some second thoughts, man. This guy is playing so well today. He really is. He, he's, he's playing like a, like a true macro Protoss, you know? Like, yeah, man. I've never seen, I haven't seen him play like this in a long time. And that was such, that was like one of the smartest moves I've ever seen as well. He, he saw the, uh, he saw Rogue's army totally out of position. He runs right by it, makes a wall with the sentries, kills two hatcheries plus the hive. And then just recalls and takes no damage. That's what happens. That's how you win a game in one attack, man. When, you, when like, you have 12 sentries, you can do anything you want. Yeah. And then you can get out of there alive with Mothership Core. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. How are you liking the Protoss race today, oh, it's fantastic. You're loving it, right? No, it's, it's, good. it's great. No. Yeah. Uh, it's never happened to me before in like half my games against Protoss. Really? No, 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 never. No, it's really well done. <laughs> it, it definitely is an opportunity that you can take. Yeah. I mean, if Zerg's out of position, they're out of position. And Mm -hmm. it, all it takes is just run by in a nice force field wall. Yeah. It looked like Rogue might have been posturing up to take the gold, possibly, or, or just, like, defend at the third base because he was just trying to defend with the Locust, but you could just run by them. You know, if you've got a wall of Roach Hydra there mm -hmm. at that ramp, you're not just going to blink by. You're going to take way too much damage. Yeah. Whereas the Locust, which they were spawning as the Stalkers and Sentries were coming through, and you can just force field them yeah. off. And the beautiful thing at the same time was that Myungshik had a massive warp in of Zelt to the right side yeah. while he was taking out the natural and main base. And just it just completely everything just fell apart in like the like a thirty second period. Yeah, man, it was insane. But guys, we are gonna have a sem seven minute break before we go to the winners match. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.